hardened steel and using aluminum oxide and we're thinking of switching to CBN but we've got an older machine and we're not really sure it can handle it is there a way to know whether or not it's even worth trying to switch to CBN I would hate to think how many shops have tried to switch to CBN and failed uh, and basically reinvented the wheel or basically same, made the same mistakes that uh, previous people have made over and over and over again because their machine just wasn't equipped to grind with CBN. And some machines, some new machines also, uh, are just not cut out for CBN. And the short answer is don't bother if your machine can't handle it. I've seen a lot of companies try to switch to CBN. I come in, they say, oh, we tried to switch to CBN and it didn't work. And I say, I take a look at the machine. I say, well, your dressing is just not cut out for CBN or your wheel speed's not cut out for CBN. Your cooling's not good enough. You know, I could have told you right from the get-go, don't even bother, don't waste your time. You're just, this machine is not cut out to do it. So here's a short checklist of basically what you need if you're going to switch to CBN. So let's go through them one by one. Number one is you need a wheel speed of at least 50 meters per second or 10,000 surface feet a minute, and preferably higher. If you don't have it, don't bother. Higher wheel speeds also mean... Uh, a little bit tougher to balance the wheel, so it's more tougher balancing or more stringent balancing requirements. So if you can get up to these speeds and keep your wheel reasonably balanced, don't bother, don't even try it, stick with aluminum oxide. Uh, number two, uh, you need high, high pressure coolant. You need coolant to lubricate well, and number two, you need coolant to keep the wheel clean. CBN can be very prone to loading because it doesn't wear away as quickly as aluminum oxide. Loading can accumulate. One of the best ways to deal with loading is just with good cooling. If you're going to get up to high wheel speeds, you need higher pressures. So you need a coolant system that can put out at least 10 bar or 150 PSI at the nozzle and preferably more. If you don't have 10 bar or 150 PSI at the nozzle, not on the back of the machine, not at the exit of the pump, at the cooling tank, um, in the basement, but at the nozzle, don't bother. Number three, uh, single point diamond is just doesn't work for CBN. You need a rotary dressing operation, preferably a rotary traverse disc to traverse the wheel. Plunge roll is okay, but really the best thing is a traverse disc to traverse that CBN, a diamond traverse disc single point cluster uh, blade just not going to happen with CBN it's a bad idea number four uh, large batch sizes if you've got a form on your wheel and you're grinding some kind of form into that part now with aluminum oxide you just take your diamond you dress that form in grind a few parts all's well if the next batch you've got a different form, well, we'll dress away the previous form, put in the new one, all's well, and now we're running. With CBN, that form really has to be put in the wheel when you buy it. You've got to custom order it, then true in that or dress in or true in that form uh, right before you use it. So if you've got dozens of different forms, different geometries, you're going to have to have dozens of different forms, different geometries on your wheel, which means dozens of different CBN wheels for form grinding. Now, if you're just doing cylindrical grinding or something with a straight flat surface, that's fine. But for form grinding, you've got to have all these different wheels. If you've got small batch sizes, you're doing a bit of this and a bit of that, a lot of different forms, you're going to have to buy a lot of wheels. Every time you change that wheel, you're going to have to put it on and dress it. You're going to consume a lot of wheel that way. So if you've got forms and small batch sizes, don't bother. So those are the requirements. And here are some of the things that really you should have. Oil coolant, not soluble oil, not water-based, but straight, neat oil. CBN does so much better with oil coolant, does so much worse with water-based coolants, that really you should have oil-based coolants. And then you've got all the issues with having your machine enclosed, you've got fire suppression systems and all that. I've seen machines using water-based coolants, wheel wear is high, CBN consumption is high. 
they would do much better with oil. So really you should be using oil uh, if you want to use CBN. Number two, you need a stiff machine. If you want to have higher material removal rates, you need better stiffness. Stiff machine is helpful. I've seen some CBN operations running on non-stiff machines, but it's helpful to have a stiff machine. Uh, and a cleaning nozzle. CBN wheels are prone to loading because they don't wear away as quickly. If you can have a very high pressure, 50 bar, 60 bar, 100 bar cleaning nozzle, um, that's very helpful too. So there's a checklist and if you don't have every single one of the first four, really just don't bother. You'll be wasting your time and really you should have uh, the other three um, would be very, very helpful too. Finally, a lot of people think, oh, if I'm not using CBN, I'm living in the Stone Age, I'm not doing things well, I'm behind the times. It's just not true. A lot of grinding operations run well with aluminum oxide. And actually, aluminum oxide is a better choice for a lot of grinding operations. So don't succumb to peer pressure or something. A guy says, well, if you go to Japan, everyone's using CBN. If you go to, J go to Germany, everyone's using CBN. It's not true. I've been to a lot of shops in Japan. I've been to a lot of shops in Germany. A lot of them are using aluminum oxide, doing quite well with it. A lot of times it's a better choice. Um, so if you want to switch to CBN, okay, make sure you got these things here. But if you don't switch, it's okay. Um, there are a lot of good operations that do quite well with aluminum oxide.